All right, the finals. We're going to keep this hand. We got solid turn two, three play. Got both our colors. Opponents mulliganing on the play. Keeping at six. Let's see what we're up against. Another white deck. Hmm, the green-white deck, I see. Dwinan's Elite. All right. I probably don't need to make this trade unless he's got multiple Dwinan's Elite. I mean, I guess if I do make this trade, Celestial Flare gets better. Hmm, maybe that is a good reason to do it. But then my Might of the Masses and my Draga Invocation get worse. I think that's still okay. Well, do I really want to make this trade? I guess I don't. I don't need to, right? Am I highly incentivized to make this trade? I don't think so. Looks like my opponent thought the same thing. Looks like my opponent actually does want to make the trade. my opponent doesn't want to make the trade, then I guess we'll make the trade. Alright. That I'm willing to allow. Um, so the question, do I want to play Leaf Gilder or Chief of the Foundry? Chief of the Foundry makes better use of the mana. Leaf Gilder does not really ramp me all that much. Chief of the Foundry also can attack into Dwinan's Elite. It gets me closer to Sky Snare Spider if I play the Leaf Gilder, but does that matter? I think I still play Leaf Gilder. Yeah, okay. The reason I play Leaf Gilder here is if I draw a white mana, I can play Flare plus Chief of the Foundry, which could be better. All right, I guess I could do Grasp plus Chief, but I think we're just going to slam a Chief here and pass. I'm going to save Grasp. Although, well, yeah, I mean, I, okay. I could have cast Chief and cast Grasp on it right away. I don't know if I love that, though. I mean, I can just cast Grasp next turn. If I draw a land, I can play Sky Snare Spider. I guess either one's fine. Naturalist, which I can play. Don't really have the need to play that. I guess we'll do Grasp. Can't do much about that. Got the old two-for-one. I think the saddest part about that two-for-one is uh, Green-White really doesn't have a lot of ways to two-for-one. They really don't. He could have suppression bonded, which we did have the answer for. The way he did, we didn't have the answer for, sadly. Visionary versus Naturalist. Hmm, I think I do Visionary. So now I've got Sky Snare Spider.
Charging Griffin, not too intimidated. Let's just slam a spider and pass. If he's got the suppression bonds, we've got the naturalist, so still looking good. Wild Instincts does not get him out of this. Doesn't have double white for Celestial Flare. Kind of, yeah, that's actually just making me really happy we held off on that Conclave Naturalist, as you might imagine. Especially since he's very, very motivated to get offensive here. But looks like he's still keeping it back on the Elite, which I guess makes sense. So now we get to go Naturalist and make a good swing here. So we're actually going to just play the Naturalist and swing with the Leaf Gilder here too. Yes, I would like to destroy that as a matter of fact. So I could have done it in a way to leave up uh, Celestial Flare, but I think I'd rather just swing for eight here. Could have swung with the Visionary, too. Throws it into Elite. Basically gives him a free block, but he also takes 8 damage. He actually wants to make the trade, which is kind of surprising. Leaf Gilder is no longer necessary, though, so I don't regret that. Concession. Alright. So, Mirror Match... Opponent's got Suppression Bonds. He has Charging Griffin, which means Aerial Volley, our one sideboard card, is an actual option. But I still... I don't like the one-for-one. One. And green doesn't really get flyers, so... I think we're probably keeping it the same. When I say one-for-one, one, I mean I don't like the bringing in an Aerial Volley for one card we saw in our opponent's deck that it's good against. Um, but everything else, I guess, seems fine. So we'll just keep it the same, go to game two. Our opponent did mulligan there, so definitely was to our benefit. His hand is definitely a keep. Definitely opening with white mana for Consul's Lieutenant. Chance. So now we get to go Cleric into Chief into Guardian Automaton. Four mana, four, four. Gains three. It's pretty good. Veterans Sidearm. Not too intimidated by that, to be honest. Ram Roller. All right. So we're going to attack into it because I wouldn't mind. I don't think he blocks anyway. All right, well, I don't think he's going to Wild Instincts, but we are going to take five damage here, which admittedly is quite a bit of damage. But we do have Naturalist, which seems pretty beneficial on this board state. Twinin's Elite, you can re-equip two. Which is actually pretty good for him. Sentinel. All right, let's just play Automaton and pass. So I think we're taking another Ram Roller hit. I would prefer to not 
trade an automaton for an enshrouding mist that we know our opponent has. So I'm a little more okay with just taking some damage here. Trying to crash back for a lot of damage. I mean, granted, I could. It's basically trading in Trouting Mist for. Um, three life and an automaton, but that's okay. Knight of the Pilgrim's Road. Okay. Not too intimidated by that. He did leave up the Enshrouding Mist, which is interesting. Um, I think we actually play another automaton. Well. I can attack with Automaton, and then he blocks. He left up in Trotting Mist, which makes me pretty confident he has it. And I don't want to trade a Might of the Masses. But I guess at this point we let our opponent play in Trotting Mist. Gain some life if we have to. Oh. Well, I guess he doesn't have in Trotting Mist then. We're going to play another automaton. I still think we can win this race. Interesting. Alright. So he did have the Entrouting Mist, but he didn't want to play it defensively. Now I'm just confused. One card left. We gain some life. Land here would be ideal, obviously. No such luck. Okay. So, what's the play? We get in for 6, 10, 12 is the best I can do. Which isn't bad. Um, I guess I can Mighty the Masses defensively to break. To kill Knight, take seven? Plus Celestial Flare. So I Celestial Flare and then I. Okay. So I think we. I could also. Yeah. Well. I'll love it. I don't love it. I kind of want to get in here, but I just really want to break that ram roller. That's my problem. Um, one card left in hand. What's the chance that it's a removal or a trick? I think we play it chill this turn. I basically just need a land. I look pretty good here defensively. I think we're going to end up taking another Ram Roller hit, but my plan is to... Yeah, this is actually okay. So I think I block here. Keep our guy around. And yes, I could have Celestial Flared, but kind of just want to get a mana. You know what I mean? Well, now if I get a naturalist mana, I'm just going to break the angel's tomb, because that seems more threatening. But we're not getting it, sadly. All right, I guess we chill out. Got a grip full of good cards. Might have to go to his end combat so I can break the Angel's Tomb if he does play a creature here with Celestial Flare. Alright, take me Orchard Spirit too? Jeez. 
I don't like this. This is a problem. This is a problem. All right, so we trade Ram Roller for Guardian Automaton, which I didn't want to do, but we're going to do. And then play Celestial Flare now. Get rid of the angel's tomb. Oh, I, I wanted to force him to do the angel's tomb, basically. Yes, I could have pre-combat done it, but... Yeah, so now I just really need that land. There it is. So now we play naturalist. Yeah. I don't love it. I would have preferred getting that land a couple turns ago, to be honest. I think I might need to attack here. 12. If I get in here, and my opponent's last card's not removal, I can possibly win with Tactician plus Titanic Growth next turn, if both my guys get in. All right, this is dangerous, but we're in dangerous territory. We took a little bit too long to get that fifth land was the major issue. And I took a bunch of Ram Roller beatings because I kept expecting to get the fifth land. And then by the time I finally traded with the Ram Roller is, of course, the turn we drew the fifth land. All right, Empath, not as intimidating. I have a feeling we're going to get hit by an Orchard Spirit. But if I can get my sixth land, we're in Sentinel territory, then Orchard Spirit's on lockdown. Wild Instincts is the card revealed, so that's uh, going to be a problem. It's not lethal next turn, but only if I keep both my guys back. Or at least two guys back, I should say. Land? There it is. So now we can... Bash Naturalist. Maybe I should have... Well, that's okay. I think I could have actually Tactician Titanic Growth swung with both. But let's just do Sentinel here. He can't kill Sentinel anyway, so we know what he's drawing. We don't know what is in his hand, though, but we're going to be able to lock down his Orchard Spirit, which is good. So you can Wild Instincts to get rid of a Conclave Naturalist, but that's not even that good. Otherwise, we get to Tactician plus Titanic Growth next turn, which I think is got to be pretty close to lethal. Ram Roller number two. I mean, any of our guys get through, and Titanic Growth is GG's.
All right. So we ended up winning the Swiss draft, which is cool. Our next draft will be an 8-4 overall. I think our deck performed well. I think our opponent uh, in the finals had a pretty pretty cool deck, actually. Multiple Ram Rollers. Obviously enough uh, artifacts from what it appeared, right? Veteran Sidearm and Angel's Tomb. So he had a cool little artifacty theme going on. Um, our deck played very well. We got to do some bomby finishers, like Sky Center Spider did work, Sentinel did work there finally, Dragon Vocation did work, so we just got to see all of our finishers perform very well. Grasp of the Hyromancer, uh, overall it was okay, it did win us a game, so that was good. Uh, Celestial Flare, of course, good, Suppression Bonds was fine. Guardian Automatons played pretty well for us, we finally in that last game there got to do it with... Chief of the Foundries. Four mana, 4-4. Four, four, definitely good. Hangerback Walker never did anything. We never once did anything broken with it. Um, yeah, other than that, very cool. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the 8-4.